Hi everyone, and we're glad you could join us for day five of a very Newberry New Year. We're now up to the 1960s. Now, while the book we're talking about today does have some dated technology, I mean, the characters actually use phone booths to call each other, it also deals with a topic that many people, especially librarians, have to deal with on a daily basis. How to live with a cat. Let's see if Nina came up with some good advice as she shares her thoughts on the book, It's Like This Cat, by Emily Neville. Hello everyone. So today we are reading It's Like This Cat by Emily Neville. Now in this story we follow the life of 14-year-old David Mitchell of New York City. Now, Dave's father thinks a dog would make a good pet, so naturally, Dave gets a cat. Now, for those of you who haven't had a chance to live with these so-called domesticated beings, today is your chance to observe one up close. Now, in my years of librarian training, I have had the opportunity for over 20 years to live with these creatures, not only observing their behaviors, but interacting with them on a daily basis. Here we have one up close. Huh. Now, shouldn't be fooled by a soft and fluffy exterior, as... Thoughts like that can get you into some major scrapes, <laughs> some requiring bandages. <laughs> now, take Dave for instance. Soon after Cat enters Dave's life, Cat goes off and gets himself locked into a neighbor's uh, basement in a cage. Then when Dave goes to rescue Cat, a rumor gets started about town that a kid resembling Dave robbed this person's basement. Doesn't even stop there. Soon, Dave and his friend Nick get in a fight because of Cat. Cat gets loose on a busy parkway when Dave and his family try to go on vacation. You know, things can seem like a big mess at the time, but can just be a necessary step on the way to something great. So, you know, life may be simpler without a cat, but if you ask Dave and me, it'd be definitely less interesting. For further proof, be sure to see Dave and Cat's full story in the 1964 Newbery Award winner, It's Like This Cat by Emily Neville.